everybody paper crafting with Ross here I've got some happy mail you may have already seen some of it I can't remember what I've recorded and what I haven't recorded so this I think you may have seen before but I can't really remember so this is a swap that I did with Wooly Steph and uh, it was around Valentine's Day and she'd been making these ATCs and ATC Kongs and I said I would love to swap so that says thanks for swapping and I think this is um, Steph's very own digital artwork hi Ros thanks for swapping Steph um, one of the swaps I've had recently it was another one that um, was she said it was her own art digital artworks so that's fab and then we've got this ATC, which is beautiful. There's a seal on it. And that says love. That feels like cork. I think that's a piece of cork that she's coloured in. And it's Valentine. Ah, it's from a design sheet, uh, the Handmade by Abigail design sheet challenge that she made and she did this in February so yes Valentine's Day so that was it so yeah she's done a design sheet and she's used the papers that's fab and then um, her Valentine car uh, coin made from the same papers I would think and then she's embossed um, in gold it's beautiful and heat embossed the gold love it little heart there stuck on for a little bit of dimension and that's Wooly Steph Valentine Feb 2022 absolutely lovely so thank you so much for that swap Steph it was wonderful let me just I'm just going to put those back to back so that you can see them both sides so that was Steph's then this gorgeous little envelope came through made with this gorgeous uh, fly paper bee fly paper and inside was this gorgeous little ATC so it looks like painted papers with some stickers on the front some ephemera on the front it says thank you with a little bit of uh, fancy lace on the side and on the back it says one of one thank you so much for entering my giveaway crafty claire aka claire cartwright and that is so lovely of you claire to go to that to that trouble i'm afraid i haven't done that for all my um giveaway entries and that, that is so nice of you, so nice of you and so thoughtful. So I love that. That will go into my ATC folder as well. So I'm going to put it in a little packet. So that will go in as well. And then in here, this was a swap. So it's been beautiful the envelope's been beautifully um, decorated with washi tape front and back and a butterfly and a little pussy cat with a fishy and look at this gorgeous card aren't these little cards you know these dinky cards so cute love it absolutely love it and this owl is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and inside it says dear Ross thanks so much for swapping I hope you like these wee coins they are great fun to make crafty hugs Jenny and it's uh, Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts here on YouTube and we swapped did we swap three ATC coins I've got a feeling I didn't do it right I've got a feeling I sent an ATC, an ATC coin and a 50p piece. <laughs> so I don't know. So we've got this one, Be Happy. Beautiful. I love that. So it's two different pieces of paper. 
and I don't know if that's been stamped on. Then we have this with the Percy Cat on. I think that's painted papers and then she's die cut the cat out of it. And it's called Meow Meow Meow. Didn't look on the back of that one. Yeah, that one's called Be Happy. And I think this one will be called Meow to you. Meow. <laughs> and then we have this one, which is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Nature never goes out of style. It certainly doesn't. Nature style. They are beautiful, Jenny. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to start a new um, folder for these as well now, aren't I? <laughs> Um, but it's look at, they do fit in the um, in the little wallets. So they were from uh, Jenny, Nin Ginger Ninja Crafts, and then this one, beautiful look. Thank you, postal workers, with a beautiful sticker. And then I don't want to disclose my or oh, the sender's email um, address, so. We've got a couple of stickers on there and this has come from America and it is, it is from a YouTube um, channel Fashionably 50 and Beyond and she sent this for my giveaway but sadly it didn't arrive in time well it has only just arrived so thank you for that Lynne so um, she sent me some um, questions so let's have a look so how fab is this I think it's this side I need so she's mixed uh, UK and USA how lovely is that so we've got a double decker bus then we've got the st Statue of Liberty and then we have a British, you know, mini box brownie camera and a yellow taxi in there. And then she's done the same on the back. So we've worked, I mean, it's good. We're all red, white and blue, aren't we? These look like um, cocktails with sparklers in them. Little passport, picture of the world and our iconic um, red telephone box. That is absolutely superb, Linné. I absolutely love that. Absolutely. And then... Yeah, so she likes all colours. Linné, fashionably, fashionably 50 something and beyond 11 of 15. So I think that's an ATC coin for me. And... On here she has two questions for me have you ever seen a member of the royal family yes I have um, they have visited my hometown um, a few times we have uh, we do have quite a good link to the royal family because we have the um, royal veterinary camp and that's where all the uh, Queen's horses and the army's horse horses come at during the summer for a rest and get looked after. I did actually used to live, uh, when I was growing up, I used to live in a house where the fields backed onto the, uh, we used to call it the vet camp. And um, yeah, we used to go and play in the fields and, and things and... Um, I think while we lived there, I believe Princess Anne visited and she has visited quite a few times uh, the vet camp. In the town, um, I have seen the Queen. She visited the town. Um, I've never spoken to any of them, um, but I have seen them. And, um, and then the last two that we saw um were prince charles and camilla they visited the town and they walked up the street where i worked at the time so we were just stood outside of work 
Um, but they didn't come and talk to us. They tended to um, gravitate towards the elderly or people that have got young children. Um, but it was, ni it was nice to see them. So yes, I have seen a member of the royal family. And do you have ancestors who lived through World War II? Well, my mum was born in 1935. And my dad was born in 1934. Um, so they both lived through World War II. Um, my mum's dad, um, he worked on the land during the, during the war and uh, so he didn't actually go to war. I think his brother did. And um, so, yes, I've got quite a few um, ancestors who lived through World War II. I mean, really, it's, it's not that long ago, I suppose, in the grand scheme of things. So, yeah, so, yeah, both my parents, they, they were, you know, they were quite young, obviously. And um, because we live in a small um, market town, they didn't experience uh, having to um, go away to live somewhere more safely, you know, like the children in London did. So, um, so yeah, so it was quite different for them. And um, I think actually they both kind of lived out in the in the villages so even more so you didn't really um, experience air raids and things like that so uh, yeah so they're the answers to my two questions and then uh, she's written me a lovely letter and um, uh, she said her grandfather and his brothers fought in World War II and have a deep deep and she has a deep respect for that generation. She says, I hope you like my pocket letter. I wanted to incorporate the US and the UK in my design and you've certainly done that. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. So that's from Linnae of fashionably 50 something and beyond so as with all the others i will uh, link uh, their channels below because they all have channels and um, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos i'm so grateful and um, i hope you've liked what you've seen it's hopefully given you some ideas and inspiration and I'll see you all again in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.